the website, Cora, yeah. had a burning question that Finesse were hoping, because you know, all of us are gonna be asking you all these questions because you hear, <laughs> you're a bro. You, you know, you all got right. all the testosterone. So they want to know, why do men take their shirts off before they fight? The responses were mixed. So okay. Finesse, would you care to be an authority on the matter? Yes, absolutely. In case you lose, why mess up your shirt, too? Oh! Why go home with a black eye and a ripped shirt? What? Because, yo, now, you're gonna have blood on the shirt now. No, no, and now here's the, here's the really, really real reason. Okay. You are trying to give somebody time to walk away. Oh! It's a you, stalling tactic. Nobody tactics. really wants to fight. It's a stalling tactic. So, I don't know if you know how peacocks and turkeys yes. get ready to get down. They flare up yeah. a little bit. So, taking off the shirt and going, oh, like you don't want none of this. That makes the person you're about to fight be like, well, do I really want this? <laughs> or maybe, but what you're really saying to somebody who's watching is, anybody want to step, step in? Step in. Yeah. Oh, especially yeah. if it's a button down and you go to each button really <laughs> slow. <laughs> Nobody gonna step in? Not, Not one person gonna stop this? I have yeah. only been in one yeah. fight and the weave was removed from the person by my hands. Yeah. Oh, so you did the removing. You did the removing. Yeah. Who did you, you fight with? Earrings? You know, it's so sad how women fight over dudes for no oh. reason. I, I had tried to tell this person, I think I've told this story before, but long story short, I, I should, she should not have fought me because she underestimated me because I was in sandals. And she thought, <laughs> she thought that I was a sucker. And so I, I found out that day that I am not a sucker. See? Uh, and <laughs> exactly. so did she. Exactly. Did you she grab the weed you. first? So she stole on me. Okay. She stole on me. So okay. she, I hate that. She put her finger in my face, and I was <gasps> like, come on now, sis. And when I touched her hand, she was like, bop, and she clapped <gasps> me. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> Do my matrix. Stole yeah. mean that she hit her without her in uh, yeah. yeah, my yeah. hands were in my pockets. Yeah. And then I put one hand out, and then she stole on me. Right. But I didn't even have time to take off earrings or anything. <gasps> oh. She was just, and then I just got my bearings because I'm a ninja. A former NBA player and my friend Shaquille O'Neal is being mocked online because <laughs> of his hairline reveal on the NBA on TNT. Yes, Shaq and a hairline. Seriously. I will let Shaq explain. Let's just get it out of the way, America. I had a bet against one of my good friends, D-Wade, Milwaukee versus the Heat. I said Milwaukee was going to win by 20 and the Heat won. And I said, well, what do you want me to do, pay you? He said, nah, you got to let your hairline grow out. We want to see your hairline looking like Kenny Smith. You know, brothers are very serious oh, about their hairline. And sensitive. Yes. Just like sisters are serious about our edges. edges. Yes. Yeah. Very important. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this ain't real. <laughs> what? You ain't got to look at me. <laughs> it raining here. All this coming down. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, it's that's... The fibers. Oh, wait, 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 it's wait, the wait, fibers. Wait. It's the, it's the, it's the, it's the fibers <gasps> that you... I think I see okay. your real hairline. Okay, it's so... <laughs> Don't touch it. I'm Don't not going to touch it. It's going to come off on your hands. Yes. I think... Wait, wait, wait. Wait. I think it starts. Your Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's, 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 it's very close to where it needs to be. No, I see I'm it. I'm just helping it out. It gives yeah. it the way I need yes. to know more. So, are these implants? Is this a. a they're no, hair fibers. They're, 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 they're fibers that you can. Lonnie, stop making that face. I need everybody to look know. forward. So everybody has fibers. Like, okay. it no, but it's, no, but it's, uh, th this is the trick. You, you use what they call matting spray it's or like holding spray. And it's little fibers that you, yeah. that, that a makeup artist will fill in your hairline with and oh. then they make and then they edge it up they do it for women as that well you guys so a Thank lot you. of us when you were a kid did you ever watch a movie that deeply deeply disturbed you that all these years later it has stuck with you and like when you even think about it it freaks you out they oh uh, yeah they've been traumatized yeah. out there yes <laughs> okay well, if you did, you guys, you are not alone. The topic recently was trending on Twitter, and it had users going crazy saying the movies that, like, freaked them out as children. For example, Ashley Bauer started a viral thread by saying Jumanji and Alyssa Wilson really? said... Really? Yeah, Jumanji wow. freaked her out. Then you had Alyssa Wilson that said her life was changed forever by Babe, a pig in the city. What? Yes, because the animals talking made her very uncomfortable. Oh my God, but I love Babe. Me yeah. too. Got it, but now, I mean, imagine if she was little, she was like, are the animals going to be talking? She didn't know. <laughs> that would excite me. Yeah. That would be cool. So, I, so while that, like, freaked her out, I'm curious, what is a movie that freaked you out? 
people under the stairs, yo. Yes! With Brandon and Adam? Yes, yes, with Brandon and Adam. People oh under my the God. stairs, yo. What? Yes. what is that about? People under the stairs. I used to like horror movies, and they me didn't too. bother me. And then I saw people, oh, see, look, that looks crazy already. <laughs> what is it about? Basically, that's this little black child. You know, he goes to this house and he's trying to be helpful. And then crazy these people. crazy people in this house, there's they 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 are in the walls and yep. he's trying to and he's like this little girl is in the Wee. room and he goes to help. He goes to like talk to her and then he hears like Yep. You know, anytime you hear it's people. It's a problem. And it wasn't a roach, it was a person in the wall. And then and then the parents that you find out that they're crazy and the people under the stairs are the people that they are the kids that they have stolen who have come to the house and trapped them under the stairs. Now at the end of the movie there is liberation. However, we've been having a blast with our main man, Finesse Mitchell, co-hosting with us today. Give it up for Finesse, y'all. Bless, bless. Yes. And since he's here, you know we had to help, you know, have him help us out with the real fam and our relationship questions. So it's time to say it with me, audience. Manslation. I love manslation. It's my favorite subject. You love it? It's my favorite segment. All right, good. All right, let's get started. Adrian, Amanda, and Tamara are in the audience with our first question from Angela and Randall. Okay, hey you two, how are you? Hey, hey. So where are you guys from? We're from Rancho Cucamonga. Nice. Okay. And what is your situation? My question is, I need to know how to get better gifts. I asked for a bouquet, and he gives me a single rose. <laughs> Randall. No. Randall, Wait, maybe Randall, Randall has a good Randall, reason. Randall. What is your take on this? I do. I was coming home late. It was Valentine's Day, and I left my debit card at home, so... You know, I'll just use what I had on me, which was cash, and I got the best gift that I could get. Okay. Okay, well, Finesse, what do you think is going on between Angela and Randell? <laughs> Unacceptable, Randell. <laughs> Unacceptable. She said three years? Mm-hmm. Three years. Let me tell you something about relationships, people. Everything new gets old, but everything that's true stays new. She gave you a layup, a layup, and, and you messed that up. Three years is a very pivotal point in a relationship because it's like, ooh, are we going to stay together or are we going to walk? But, man, it is so up to you to keep making her feel like that queen that she is. And so I would have rather said, babe, I got something so big planned for you that I didn't want to mess it up because I just left my... I would have came with the truth versus... If she just said, bring flowers, and you come in with one rose? And I question that, because you can only get them in the club and the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? So... You didn't plan ahead. Well, I was about to say, you should have planned ahead. It was ahead. Valentine's Day. You knew it was Valentine's like. Day. You should have just said, I got something so big planned, but I actually left my wallet at home, because that means you waited to the last minute. So you was just wrong all the way around. So just tell the truth. 